Hey YouTube, it's Shadow again with a, another quick video update and review. Um, I figured I'll do a quick another quick unboxing. Um, someone had requested for me to upload a games collection video, which is coming up shortly. Um, I just have to find everything in my house. But I did pick up a game this weekend. Um, Hatsune Miku Project Mirror IDX. It finally came in the mail. I ordered it off of eBay um, because there are some uh, special features in this launch edition. So I figure, why not for this unboxing, we have my friends Hatsune Miku figure join us for this unboxing real quick. So let's get started by opening this up. Bit. As you see on the outside of the packaging, it says there's a bonus AR card set and wallet chain on this extra packaging here. Just want to take that out. And uh, let's just go over the box real quick. So we have a picture of the front. Uh, we have uh, Hatsune Miku and the rest of the vo Vocaloids here. Uh, Mako, Luca, uh, is it Len and Rin and Kato? Um, cor correct me if I'm wrong with any of those pronunciations. Um, and we look at the back here. It says uh, there's 48 full length songs, which is cool, with multiple play styles using uh, fun and creative tools of some of the best music from the world's favorite digital diva, Hatsune Miku with 38 cards and more ways to play. So it actually has some co-op play with two players that you can do and street pass features, spot pass, which is cool. So that's definitely a good thing. Always gotta support Sega. I'm a big fan of theirs, their stuff. So as we open the box, okay, nothing there in the outside of the box. Um, let's take a look at the wall keychain first. Okay, I'm holding my hands in the right position. Pretty good. So it comes with a chain on both ends. I don't have one of these types of wallets. I can't demonstrate it, but um, I assume you put one clip on the end of your wallet and one clip on your belt buckle, I believe. That's how you wear them. So that way... If the wallet falls out of your pocket, you have this cord to keep it secure, everything. And we have a nice little pattern and embroidery here. Project Mirai DX, obviously, you know, Hatsune Miku looks like logo there. With, you know, the standard teal, sea, you know, sea blue kind of color. It's a black all the way through in a triangle pattern all the way back to the other side with these little hook chains. So that's nice bonus. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but you never know. Now for the main reason I bought this game, obviously for the game, and the AR cards, which I want to try out. And I totally forgot I started this video without my 3DS. But anyway, maybe I'll do that in another part. Um, so here we have the game, playable in 2D and 3D, E for everyone, kind of the same information that was on the back of the box. Let's see if I can focus this just a little bit. There we go. Side of the back, let's open it up. Uh, very nice. So we take, I'll take the AR cards out, take the booklet, nothing else going on here. Get the nice cart, nice and tight. I like that. Really colorful label. You don't see that too often. Sometimes a lot of the labels are just really monotone. Um, the booklet. Let's see. I think this is like a poster or some like guide that explains like how you play the game. So there we go. The cast of characters, the different Vocaloids. Profiles, street pass, 
yada yada. It's really cool though they did include this, they didn't have to. It kind of explains for somebody who's a novice at Hatsune Miku games how they work. I've been playing uh, Project Diva 2 on my uh, PS3. So basically, the way it works, it's like a music rhythm game and you're going to have this cursor that passes over these uh, little icons which are like notes in the song and at different points of the song you press a button when the cursor gets over the icon and depending on how close you uh, tap the button in, in terms of the beat of the song um, you get you know a different rating whether it be uh, miss, bad, um, safe, good or cool if I'm right, if I got all those right. So you want to get as many as you can to try to get, you know, perfect, a good rating. And you just play the songs over and over. A lot of it is memorization and just like listening to the music. I have to play these games with the music on, like with my TV, like turned up to hear it. So it'll be definitely be interesting how I play this because I like to play my 3DS on the go. I'm going to have to get headphones. Um, but also seems like for the 3DS version they're introducing a hold and slide version which I actually hold was on the other games the Project Diva games but the sliding it seems like you do something with the touch screen and the stylus and you go back and forth um, using the game which is cool gives you a new way to play it and we have a little printout for a mini, mini game El Puyo Puyo so I think that's from the old days of like the Genesis and stuff, it's an old Sega game. So it gives you a way to play, it's kind of like Tetris by like matching colors and stuff. I guess that sort of factors in to the game. So it's very cool. I'm actually selfishly kind of unboxing all of this now just because I want to play the game and I figure I put something on my channel so that the subscribers can see it whether you're interested in it or not. I'm going to try, try to take these out slowly. There we go. So let's go through the cards. Miku, Len, Kaito, Miku again, different pictures. It's really cool. They're about, if I had to describe it, uh, like two by threes or fours. So I was like, regular kind of picture size not too big you're definitely something that if you wanted to carry on to go in a, in a bigger case you probably could you have more pictures I appreciate the artwork and I'd rather have something like this um, yeah I remember this costume from one of the other games I'd rather have something like this physical than rather trying to print it out myself on pieces of paper and losing them. And they printed out nicely on a nice, you know, um, you know, index card stock. I, let's see, yeah, there's stuff on the back. So we're gonna go reverse and more of the pictures. So if you're not familiar with AR, um, it's basically augmented reality. It's like a way of bringing the characters to life in the real world. So basically you would like lay down one of the cards, kind of like flat, and you would put, put your 3DS over it and it would create like an image or projection of them into your game. Which for the purposes of this game, I think you can actually see the characters like perform the songs. So if I were to do it here and demonstrate, it would look like Miku is sitting right on my desk, my drawing table singing like I don't know the world is mine or one of those songs uh, melt or something this may go so I okay so the back back sides of the opposite cards five and six are together and here we have two and three I'm assuming are together and four and one are together which they pair them up in a way that makes sense actually you have Mika Miku and Luca together the twins Len and Ren together and Kato and Mako together. That's pretty cool. So I'll definitely be holding on to these. So that pretty much wraps up my review. I appreciate you joining me. Um, doing it. 
here for you guys. I guess I'll just do that. So yeah, Project Mirai is out. I think this is an old game. It was out last year, but I didn't really play too many DS games um, for a couple of years now. Because I had a 2DS. There was a while I didn't have a DS, and then I just had a 2DS. And now I have a new XL. So I've been trying to rebuy some of my games or stuff that I missed. <coughs> so, uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. You spending the last uh, 10 minutes with me. Um, again, as always, drop a comment below. Let me know, like, hey, do you play uh, Vocaloid games? What do you think about the idea of a digital uh, music performer um, instead of, you know, live humans singing songs like it's kind of like a trend now in japan um have you played any of the games do you have any desire to play like uh project diva x which is coming out in august um you can always drop your usernames your friend codes any of that stuff below um i'll be sure to check that out and add you and um as always um don't forget to like or comment or uh, put this the video in the playlist or something and um, you know always check out the next video on the channel I always have more stuff coming through I'm gonna try to keep up you know st stuff current on the channel so thanks again for tuning in I want to thank little Miku for standing in as a guest with us as well and um, until the next time see you later peace <laughs>